Cat Bushcraft Channel. My name is Matt, and I'm outside today on a beautiful early spring afternoon. Uh, it's late March, and yesterday we had nothing but pouring rain all day, and today a low front has come in and pushed that rain and everything out and created beautiful clear blue skies. It's a little bit breezy, but the temperature's up in the, in the low 70s. It feels great outside, and I thought it'd be an excellent day to come out and scout around for some early spring wild edible plants. And each year I normally do that around this time of year just to see what I can find in my area. And one of the plants that I like to look for is common chickweed. If you look on the ground around me, about 95% of all this green that you see behind me is common chickweed. So I found an excellent um, display of it here to share with you. Uh, chickweed is both edible and has some medicinal qualities as well that makes it desirable. So uh, in case you're not familiar with common chickweed, I wanted to give you a close-up look at it and talk briefly about a couple of benefits that chickweed has to offer, so stick with me. All right, well I've zoomed in here on this chickweed and about 90% of what you see there is common chickweed. There's actually some small pieces here of a different type of chickweed which is called mouse ear chickweed. It's actually fuzzy. Um, the leaves and everything have fuzz all over them. Um, have no experience eating that or consuming it in any way. I always focus here on this uh, common chickweed. And I'm going to give you a close-up as best I can if I can get the camera to focus on it. And let me, uh, this will show you the leaves real good. And this has a bud where a flower is about to bloom. Right there. Okay, but the flower's not blooming. Let me get you a flower. Find a good example. perfect one right here all right the camera will focus there we go all right the flower actually some people refer to this as star weed because the flower looks like a little star you can see it's white and it has five petals it actually looks like ten petals but they're five it's five and they're deeply lobed to the point that it looks like separate petals that'll give you a close close up of the flower and exactly what it looks like it's very distinctive all right and if you'll notice something about the leaves the leaves are alternate from one side to the other so you'll have two leaves going let's say east and west and then you'll have two leaves going north and south and i'm just using that as an example this one maybe can be easier to see a little bit so if you if you look We've got these two leaves going side to side, and then these two leaves going front to back. So they're alternating like that. Okay, and you can see what the shape of the leaf is. It sort of has a teardrop shape to it, or whatever you might call that. That's the shape and the color of the plant. Right, and it grows really long. Um, some of the parts of it uh, spread and trail out, um, so it can be it can get pretty long. Um, and you have some some growth like if you look at this this up here is actually bigger in, in size some of this down here that's flowering is tiny if you look at the difference and actually the smaller fresher greens tend to be higher in vitamin content from what I understand and as far as vitamins go uh, chickweed is high in vitamin A um, has vitamin C beta carotene I uh, understand it has B-complex vitamins in it as well. Uh, so it has a lot of nutrients and minerals in it that are good when you consume it as a wild edible plant. Um, as far as taste goes, to me it has the taste kind of a, of a mixture of fresh corn. If you've ever eaten fresh corn that's not cooked. When I was a kid we used to walk through the fields and we'd strip off the ear of corn and shuck it and eat it right in the field raw. If you've ever eaten raw corn, it has a little bit of a starchy taste. If you mix that with maybe a, a mild celery flavor, that's kind of the flavor that chickweed reminds me of. One of the distinguishing features, in addition to the alternating leaves and that white flower, and I don't know how well this will show up on camera, is there's also a very fine little strip, and this very fine strip of hairs on the stem. And again, I don't know how well you'll see that, but it's just one stripe that goes up. And then when the leaves alternate, Okay, when these leaves alternate, then that fine stripe of hair will alternate too. And it'll be 90 degrees off from the other stripe. So as the leaves alternate, that little stripe of hair will alternate as well. Um, so that's something you can look for when you look for chickweed. It's very hard to get that on camera because it is so fine. Medicinally, chickweed is generally thought of as a cooling agent. 
and it's excellent to be used poulticed on the skin uh, for such conditions as mild burns, a rash, maybe acne or eczema, things like that, maybe bug bites. You can uh, mash this stuff up really good and use a bandage or a cloth and apply it to the skin directly and then that would have a cooling effect and a healing effect for that type of condition for anything on the skin. There are folk remedies that suggest that chickweed would be good for uh, as a blood purifier um, that you could take it internally as a decoction for purifying the blood. Um, I really don't have any experience with that. Um, I tend to just consume it as a wild edible and I have experience using it with the poultice and I think that it has similar effects to that of plantain to some degree. Um, it does have an astringent uh, property to it so I understand from research. Um, so that's my personal uses and, and that's why I keep chickweed in my toolbox so to speak. Um, but as far as the folk remedies and things that suggest it being more powerful, uh, I really have no experience with. So I just wanted to give you a close-up look at the plant and discuss the flavor of it as an edible and maybe some of the benefits of it nutritional-wise and also medicinal. Just to show you one more reason why I really like chickweed, if you look, about 90% of everything that you see green right now is common chickweed. I'll zoom in. You can see all those little flowers. Right? And zoom out to give you, put it in context, all this is chickweed. And every year I come to this spot about this time of year and start to collect some of it and take it with me to camp and eat it and so forth. Make salads with this and wood sorrel and dandelion and all kinds of other wild edibles that I'll find. And if you look, when, when you find chickweed, normally it really makes itself at home and you'll find normally giant patches of it like this. Although this one is pretty exceptional even for my area. Just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like in mass. Okay, well that gives you a little bit of a close-in look of chickweed. I know it's not easy to see a lot of the fine details on a camera like that, but it'll give you a rough idea. And if you're interested in chickweed, I'm sure you can do your own research online, which is always a good idea anytime you're dealing with wild edible plants. You shouldn't just watch one video or even cite one source and then go and consume something medicinally or as an edible. You should always do research. Confirm it. General rule is confirm it in three places. In the survival community, we tend to think of things in a rule of threes. Uh, when it comes to wild edibles, confirm it in three different sources. Con confirm uh, confirm uh, what you're consuming with, you know, a book, maybe a book. You look it up online, see a picture, read about it. Maybe have somebody who's an expert confirm for you that that's the plant that you have. So you've confirmed it in three different ways. I would strongly recommend that. But this video is just to give you an idea of chickweed um, and what its uses are. And that way maybe you can do your own research and locate it in your area and take advantage of the benefits of an extra wild edible plant or possibly using it as a medicinal Worth mentioning, you can make tinctures and decoctions uh, and so forth, medicinals with uh, chickweed. Again, it's one of those things you should do your own research. From my personal uh, experience, either a poultice um, or consuming it as a wild edible. That's really the extent of my experience with it. But again, it's one of my favorite little spring edibles to look for. And I'm comfortable enough that I consume it so do your research and I hope you enjoyed the video I appreciate you as always taking the time to tune in get outside and enjoy God's creation of the great outdoors until next time take care and God bless